Today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu paid a controversial visit to Capitol Hill where he defended his war against Hamas and asked for U.S. support. Ahead of his visit, protesters rallied outside, gathering hours before the Prime Minister's arrival. Israel does not seek to resettle Gaza, but for the foreseeable future, we must retain overriding security control there to prevent the resurgence of terror to ensure that Gaza never again poses a threat to Israel. While many Republican lawmakers welcomed the prime minister's speech, other members of Congress chose to boycott it. Our Andrew Ramos is in the newsroom. And Andrew, I know you spoke with some local lawmakers who were sending a message of their own. That's right, Joe. And it was a stern one. At last count, it was just uh, more than 50 lawmakers, mostly Democrats, who opted out of Benjamin Netanyahu's speech today and said some met with families of Israeli hostages, including Illinois Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. She is part of a growing list of local Democrats critical of the prime minister's leadership in the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. They are, some are saying, you know, don't make sure he doesn't get a standing ovation. Growing That's anger and frustration is what Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky said she felt from families of Israeli hostages. She met with them today instead of sitting in for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's speech on the House floor. These uh, are people that are very angry at Bibi Netanyahu for not making a priority of a, of a ceasefire. He is not interested in ending the war. That anger on full display outside the Capitol, where protesters made their presence known, rallying against the deaths of nearly 40,000 Palestinians since the war began. Lawmakers held their own protest, pushing back at Netanyahu's address before it even happened. Among the 50 senators and members of Congress that were no-shows, Senator Dick Durbin and Congresswoman Delia Ramirez both issued fiery statements on the House floor ahead of his appearance. The support for Israel's right to exist is not a blank check for extremist policies of Prime Minister Netanyahu. We cannot work towards peace while giving a war criminal the floor. Congressman Danny Davis, who did attend Netanyahu's joint session speech out of respect and tradition, maintains that he disagrees with every policy the prime minister has put on the table thus far. Especially his treatment of, of, of Palestinians who are in need. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu is expected to meet with President Biden and Vice President Harris on Thursday. Then we'll meet with former President Trump and Mar-a-Lago on Friday. Reporting in the newsroom, Andrew Ramos, CBS News, Chicago.